Hi, this is Madeline from Sonic Bloom with a new episode in the brand new tutorial series called With a Little Help from Max for Life. And today we're going to have a look at two Max for Life devices from the Max for Life Essentials pack that is available for free from Ableton. I've included the link below. And with these two devices together, we're basically going to build in the ultimate one up control center. So where we have eight one ops in one place that we can control um, with the MIDI controller that has a control surface so that the in the, the first device in the track or the first eight parameters in the track are controlled by the eight knobs or faders on that controller. Okay, so for this, you first need to have the Max for Life Essentials installed and then you can find that on the packs and Max for Life Essentials. And we're going to look at two Max Audio Effects the, um, and the control devices. The first one we're going to use is the Multimap. And that basically is a device where you can map up to eight param parameters from anywhere in the live set to be controlled by one knob. And you can adjust the minimum and maximum of each of the map parameters and also set a curve if you like. Right, so I have decided that I want to map the oscillator one and oscillator two positions and then also the frequency of the first oscillator. And what I have to do now is I'm going to press map then I, if I want to set it back to the previous setting, I need to remember what it was, so 24%. And then we're going to click on map, 63%, and click on it. And then I would like them to cross over. So right now, when I adjust it, they would, at 0% here, there would be 0%, and I would, you know, Go all the way up except that this one does 127 percent so oscillator 2 i want it to be at 63 percent and so i'm going to switch that over first so now they're crossing over so this is oscillator 2 but oscillator 1 whoops When, the, when I turn it up, it goes down now. So, gonna go over see, it's at 63%, 37. So I could also say like, okay, just the ma maximum to go there again. And then, I also wanted to map a frequency, so I'm just going to map that. And let's see how it sounds. Right, okay, so that's something to jam with. Um, of course, you can fill the five remaining slots as well with other parameters from anywhere in the set. Uh, so it doesn't have just have to be in the track. You can see that now with the second one knob I'm going to build. And for this, I want the multi-map as well. And what I want to be able is to do is to just uh, lower the volume of uh, track one to seven all at once, or one track 1 to 11 actually, so the first seven tracks. So I'm going to click that and here you can see, I put it in the master because I'm controlling um, parameters in different tracks. If I just want to control parameters in one track, I usually would put the multi-map in that track because then it's easier to kind of figure things out later on again. So, okay, map that. Remember the value, so that's zero. Zero, zero, and zero. And then we've got minus seven, or we could actually take that down a little bit as well. 
Okay, then we're going to map the next one and that one as well. So minus 7, minus 5, minus 9. Okay, so let's set it all the way up and then we're going to adjust here the maximum rather because then it can never go to plus 6 because we want it to stop at 0 if we want to do a fade in for example 85% in this case okay and those need to go further down I'm going to take that down to minus 9 roughly and then go to minus 5 And that to minus four, minus no, minus nine. Okay, so now I can just play things. <laughs> And then, of course, I can just take it all the way up. Okay, so you can keep going. Build uh, six more one knobs with parameters from any one of the set. Uh, you could, of course, for example, do something like um, turn, like turn one track off and another one on. So mute. Or you could map the sense, or lots of other different parameters, whatever you find useful for your set. And then what we also need is the map 8. And I'm going to put that into the first slot because we're, we want to make sure that those are the first eight parameters that um, a controller like Push 2 or any controller that has a control surface where the eight knobs or faders I map to those first eight parameters in the track, in the selected track. And then we need to map those two to the different macros. That again works for anything in the set. So I can just click map here, then go to the base track and map that one. And um, once we've made sure that th this is selected, we can just press play and I'm going to jam a little bit. We can jam a little bit. That's it. If you just keep going, you can just build your own one-up control center where you can control maybe even all of the parameters you need in the set very easily. I hope you found this helpful. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!